everyone welcome to the update of 24 june today's update is pretty late i was not at home and I just returned today was a rest day for the bulls not too much action the action was there but it was stock specific and this is how probably markets will be sector specific stock specific for example defense was under correction for some time today defense stocks rallied so going forward you can expect the markets to be highly sector and stock specific for example grsc got a good international order the stock rallied nearly 8% today though it had been correcting for last several days the rally may actually now shift to the next level to the mid caps and small caps which were butchered about a month or two months back today's low action reflects in the fi di number also the buy and sell numbers are perhaps the lowest in last 7 8 days both of them net sellers fi is minus 650 crore DII minus 820 crores. The good thing is for the month of June we are on 24th, but DII net number is hardly minus 3000 crores. So they have not sold much effectively in the month. DII is, however, have nearly purchased everything that they got as fresh flow, 20,000 crores. That's the average inflow in any case for DIIs. Nifty note that this is the fifth continuous day of greens, up 0.16 percent. Bank Nifty was not as volatile today as it was yesterday, still up. 0.08 percent. This icon denotes minus 0.1 to 0.1 percent. Nifty IT slightly down 0.15 percent. Nifty Energy didn't go anywhere. I'm redoing these two spaces to make them more useful. There is nothing like a defense index, but this is a score I'm trying to build, which means on a thousand point scale, defense today moved up two percent. So I redid this area a bit. Dow Jones levels do not matter too much for India market. I moved Nasdaq here. Gold is still here, up 0.15 percent. Silver up as well. Bitcoin down a bit. Today I have added the rupee value against US dollar also. 83.5. Brent I have removed the history. That is kind of not that useful. Up a bit 0.85 percent. Let me know your feedback if this is looking more useful. US stocks wise, Nvidia has fallen more. It is right now about 5 percent down. A deep cut in a very large stock. It may mean that Microsoft again becomes number one because Microsoft is up 1 percent. But this is a daily seesaw between the top three players. This will go on for some time. One interesting point, NVIDIA's market cap is nearly getting equivalent to India's GDP. A quick peek, I am trying to build a dashboard for defense stocks. I did and invest a lot in these stocks, so I want to track all of them together. Sectoral snapshot, today 23 sectors were up. This is compared to 11 on Friday. Today's rally was led by aerospace and defense. This sector was down most of the last week. Contributed 40% to Nifty's gains, followed by electrical utilities, machinery equipment, automobiles what was dragging the nifty down oil and gas primarily reliance chemicals metals insurance aerospace and defense everything was up today led by hl three percent garden reach got a big order so it was up around seven percent good decent recovery in the sector automobiles maruti down very little tata motors also down 0.4 percent but mnm was very strong today 2.7 percent Bajato was also up 1.5 percent banking mixed bag hdfc and icici were up but sbi bajaj finance access they were all down construction engineering lnt down very little but rvnl was up yet again 1.7 percent cement pack the big boys ultra tech and grassim were up adani enterprises up very little Power pack was up 1% led by an NTPC power grid. The Adani pack, Adani power, Adani green were also up. Tata power corrected a bit 0.7%. The consumption pack was up today. Britannia was down a bit but all other stocks were up. That took good percentages. The sector was up nearly 0.8%. Today Bajaj holdings went up 6%. Insurance pack was down. Investment banking, HDFC asset management was up but all others, Nippon, Motel, Oswal, BSC, all of them were down anywhere between 2 and 4%. Heavy machinery and equipment SPAC was up a lot today. The sector was up 1.5%, led by Siemens 2%. Metal and mining was bleeding today. Each and every stock was down. The sector was down 0.8%. Oil and gas MRPL was up 5.5%, but Reliance was down 0.9%. When Reliance is down, the sector can't do much. Consumption pack was up 0.4%, but mixed bag. The consumption pack was up 0.4%, mixed bag. Pharma, Sun Pharma was up. That's the biggest player. Otherwise, the sector was choppy. Software and IT mixed bag. TCS up a little, but Infosys HCL down. Wipro went nowhere yet again. Zomato was up. Update on the sectoral dashboard. 13 sectors are in the 100 to 90% zone. 3 from auto, 3 from banking, 3 from metals and mining, 1 from pharma, 1 from telecom. Overall, 60% stocks are in the 70 to 80% zone. Nothing in the 0 to 20% zone. So overall Nifty is looking healthy right now. Most stocks are moving towards the all-time highs or at least 52-week highs.
Now, this is a very interesting data point. Nifty 50 today, the maximum contribution on upside came from MNM. Most charts don't tell this part. Second was ICICI Bank, followed by Sun Pharma, Power Grid, HDFC Bank. What was dragging Nifty down? Reliance, Adani Port, Coal India, Bajaj Finance, State Bank of India. The colors are a bit misleading. I'll fix that tomorrow. I just sorted the table by market cap. Today, there were not too many stocks with high volumes, only Sun Pharma and Britannia. So a bit of sanity returning after last Friday. Next 50 also, not too many players had very high volumes. In fact, several players had low volumes, less than 50%. LIC, Varun Beverages, Indigo, Ambuja Cements. Nifty next 50, 18 stocks were down, 32 were up. So good market bet today. Volumes returning to normalcy. Investors will heave a sigh of relief now. IT index mostly down. Power pack reliance down, NTPC up, power grid up, Adani Green up. Banks, HDFC and ICIC held the fort together, otherwise it was a red day. Most of the public sector banks were down in the red, especially Union Bank of India. How did my trades go? I sold off Tata Investments, Prestige Estates. Not too many gains in terms of percentages, but I had been holding them for 5-6 days. There was a decent money on the table, I thought let me rotate. So I sold these two and I bought Mass Financials. I had sold Mass Financial somewhere around the election results time. It's probably time to buy it back because we are heading into the result season now. I might sell it earlier if there is decent gain. So today was the fourth day since I started trading with the help of these charts. There were patterns but not big ones. For example, Nifty was up here, HDFC Bank up, ICICI Bank up. But many stocks were not following that pattern also. Reliance has been following the pattern of its own for last few days. TCS fell, ATL was up around same time, SBI actually was down instead of up. ITC went significantly up at this point of time, HUL went down. So there were no clear patterns as they were last few days. That also perhaps reflects in the FIA volumes being low. One interesting part today was VIX was going up along with Nifty. Usually the reverse happens. Bank Nifty also went up. The patterns of Nifty and Bank Nifty are similar, which means bank stocks were the ones which were moving both Bank Nifty and Nifty to a large extent. Today I have added bank charts also. HDFC was nearly consolidating for most of the day. It went up in the last half an hour. Actually, this is where I also got stuck a little today. I shorted the market around 3 o'clock. I thought that 5 days market have been going up and now maybe the market will take a breather with the Bank Nifty coming up on Wednesday. But both ICICI and HDFC shot up in the last 30 minutes, taking the Bank Nifty up with it. So this was the only trade which went wrong today. Unbooked losses of around 5,000. Defense stocks, GRSE got a big order, so it shot up in, earlier in the day. After that, it corrected a bit, but still it was up around 7-8% for the day. Most of the stocks actually consolidated. HL also consolidated, then shot up later in the day. Metals, most of them shot up till about 11 o'clock and then came down. Same pattern in most stocks. The only exception perhaps was Hindalco, which consolidated in the later part of the day. Nifty today started with a gap down, went up till about 11.15. After that, it was in a very tight range, less than 100 points. The variations also were kind of steady, not very rapid movements. If you are buying or selling, then this range is too tight to make money. My trades, I had started with a clean slate. There were no open positions from last week. PL for the day, 26,000. This is actually around 30,000. There are few open positions which are in loss. That is why it is showing 26,000. In Nifty, there were three long positions. All of them were profitable. Bank Nifty also, there were three positions. All three were profitable. I have shorted the Bank Nifty as well as I have shorted the Nifty. This is for Wednesday expiry for Bank Nifty and Thursday expiry for Nifty. This 5,000 is actually a position which was already there in the longs positions. But I sold it later on. That is why it is showing lesser profit than there was. So tomorrow I'll start with a loss of around 4,000. But I'm a premium collector. So unless the limits are breached for Bank Nifty and Nifty, overall there were still three pages. I'm comfortable with this right now because I've also started trading in Bank Nifty. And whenever I'm hedging, there are actually two positions. One goes in profit, another in loss. Now what am I holding? Just a peak of it. For Nifty, as long as Nifty is below roughly 23,700, I'm good for Thursday. So there is about a 160 point kind of cushion. If the markets open with a gap up or they start going up, 
then I'll have to square off this position or maybe even sell it at a loss. The PL number for Bank Nifty will not look correct because there is a profit coming over from the previous position. I'll discuss this tomorrow. If you are thinking that markets will cool down now, that's probably not gonna happen. These are volatile times. Market will not go sideways in my opinion. This is perhaps the calm before the storm. This week's expiries will be the monthly expiries, Wednesday for Bank Nifty, Thursday for Nifty. So if not as ferocious as last week, at least equivalent to that is what I would expect. Immediately after the current week, we are stepping into July, first results and then the budget. HDFC Bank has already announced a date. 20th of July is the date when HDFC Bank will give the results. TCS will perhaps start the season 9th or 10th of July. If you didn't spend time this weekend to prepare your shopping list, do prepare it now. It may be too late in July week 1 to start shopping because the stocks which will probably go up around the results time, they would have gone up already by that time. Hope you enjoyed the video. You had a good day in the market as well. Good luck for tomorrow. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.